something is up. When men in Versace suits pay homage, the jeweled ladies on their arms, bearing extravagant gifts for a baby, something is up. As if missing the shower, they know more needed by new parents. Diapers, blankets, onesies, cuddle toys, bassinets, stroller. To be gotten by hawking gold chains, fashionable perfumes, designer drugs. When their limousine pulls up in the rear of public housing in Southeast, neighbors know more is at stake than birth of another out of wedlock child. What is going on? What do they know that we do not? Who is this child? Who are the parents? Are they local? Where do they come from? Perhaps they are illegal. Men in rags, their belongings in bags, came last week, now elegant VIPs from away. The baby or the parents must be something special. Maybe both. We have to know the secret. Ask the rabbis, priests, imams. They must know, but will they tell? Spotlight washes over the rude birthing bed. Is it for protection or celebration? Is this Messiah? Is it now? But in the projects with scrawny dogs and stray cats, how can that be? Shh! Don't tell. Might get them in trouble with Homeland Security. Let them leave quietly. Let the baby grow up, and then we'll know why angels sang, homeless men knelt, and rich folk came. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise ones from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and we have come to pay homage to him. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them, where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, and by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then, Herod secretly called for the wise ones and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen, at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then 
Opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road.